Brava Spanish Barrel Tile Installation Video Series Part 2 Valley and Rake Installation Valley Installation At Valley's install underlayments, a 36-inch strip of ice and water shield that meets or exceeds ASTM D1970 and Valley Flashing according to building code, best practice, and design specifications. Flashing should extend 11 inches in each direction for slopes of 412 or greater and 14 inches for slopes less than 412. Closed valleys or open valleys may be used. 24 to 26 gauge corrosion resistant metal flashing is recommended. Two screws per tile are required at locators for full tiles. Do not place screws within 5 inches of the center line. To avoid placing fasteners within 5 inches of the center line, placing fasteners elsewhere on the tile is acceptable. It is also acceptable to fasten a cut tile with only one fastener if the cut tile is less than half a piece. Use approved adhesive to prevent shifting of the tile. Do not place fasteners in any exposed areas. Ensure no fasteners are visible on the completed roof. Cut tiles before they are installed, dry fitting, and marking, ensuring straight even cuts for uniform installation of the valley. For closed valleys, a W valley flashing may be used with a 2.5 inch center crimp. Cut tiles along the center crimp, leaving a minimum 3 16 inch gap for expansion. For open valleys, a W valley flashing may be used with 2.5 inch crimps. Cut tiles along the crimps, leaving a minimum 3 16 inch gap for expansion. Rake installation. Brava recommends installation of a 36 inch wide strip of ice and water shield that meets or exceeds ASTM D1970 at rakes overhanging the rake edge by at least one inch. The hip and rake is universal fitting both left and right rakes. Dry fit the first hip and rake aligning it so it is flush with the eave edge. Make a mark at the nose of the second course of tile and trim the top of the hip and rake. This results in the factory edge being installed at the eave. Secure with two corrosion resistant fasteners. Fasteners must be screws. Ensure compliance with building code, warranty and application requirements. Locate fasteners one and a quarter inch from the top as shown. Using a nailer at the rakes is recommended. If a rake nailer is not used, the top fastener must be a minimum four and a half inches in length to meet penetration requirements. For areas that experience high wind conditions, an additional fastener must be added on the lower end of the hip and rake. Apply color match sealant at any exposed fastener locations. Complete the hip and rake installation up to the ridge matching the exposure of the field tiles. At the ridge, miter cut the hip and rake as shown to complete rake trim installation. The rake is completed with a bullnose accessory and top ridge tiles. Alternatively, top ridge tiles can be marked and mitered with a jigsaw to complete the rake. Rake nailer strips may also be used. The nailer strip is attached and flashing is applied over the strip. Optional rake edge may be used in place of the hip and rake. If desired, a full hip and rake or rake edge can be used to begin installation at the rake by lapping the head over the second course of tile and continuing installation as previously described. For more videos and information, visit us online at bravarooftile.com.